Hello, everyone. Welcome to APH a Virtual Excel Camp, day four of STEM Camp, Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. This camp is built for 11 to 13 year olds, but everybody is welcome to learn along with us. We are so glad to have you here. Again, welcome to STEM Camp by APH, Virtual Excel Camp for 11 to 13 year olds. We had some lovely shared pictures this last evening and morning. Maya's project and her parents shared that Maya laughed so hard during project 14 when she disconnected the two snap and the blade flew straight up in the air. And after which she just had to do that over and over. Wonder how many of you had that happen. Nadia sent pictures of her building her circuits with her switches. I can see that big red fan sticking up and she has a builds on either side and on the top of it. Great work, Nadia. And we have wonderful participation in paying attention to our videos. Sometimes it's easier to watch the video so you can pause, rewind, and watch it again. Miko shared that she's been enjoying building the projects while watching the recordings. I get you. Slowing down sometimes really works. And now I am going to turn you over to both of your instructors. Welcome. It's all yours. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Dr. Short Circuit okay. and I weren't quite sure who was going to say hello first, but I'm <laughs> going to turn the time over to her to start. <laughs> Hi, scientist. Dr. Short Circuit here. So yesterday we learned about, what did we learn about? We learned, what did we learn about? I, I'm i drawing a blank now, Dr. Batteries. What did we learn yesterday? I bet we could have our fellow scientists put and it in the chat. That sounds good. Listen, so why don't you list one thing that you learned yesterday? And possibly you could mention how things went with your extension activity. I know that we asked you to go on a scavenger hunt around your house, searching for switches. Switches, that's what we did yesterday. <laughs> I love it. Maya says she learned about momentary switches, which is fantastic. I learned about momentary switches too. Momentary what? switches are those switches that only activate when you press them. Oh, oh nice. And Audrey mentioned that we learned to build an audio circuit. That is fantastic. Kenji, I see your request to show me something and I'm hoping um, you can hold off on that until after we turn our cameras on. Thank you so much. So how um, did our extension activities go, Dr. Short Circuit? Well, I saw some of the pictures. Some people had really had a lot of fun with that flying saucer with your fan spun off of the motor. Now, and I, I love how that can illustrate what Ian talked about, because in the chat, he talked about the laws of Newton. And that law is the law of conservation of energy. So just because that snap circuit, that snap wire got removed, doesn't mean the energy stops. What happened is it made the motor stop, but then it transferred that energy to the fan blade and the fan blade kept moving. So no energy was destroyed. It was just changed and converted. Yes. Okay, so today we have a very fun build for you today because we are going to be learning about resistors and conductors. Very nice. So our objective for today is that I can explain 
what a resistor is and what a resistor does. So I just want to take a moment with you guys and review a little bit of vocabulary, and then we're going to go back in time. So my first vocabulary word is resist, because resist is a part of the word resistor. So put in the chat if you have heard of that word resist before, and if you happen to know what it is, go ahead and type it in the chat. Kenji has typed in, Maya says she has heard that word before. That's awesome. Kenji says it's to stop the flow of electricity, which we will unpack that and see. So far, some of my scientists have heard that word resist before. Nice, or slow it down, um, or build something that stops. I love it. If I'm going to resist something, I am going to withstand the action or the effect of that thing. Very good. Or slow it down. Very good, Annalise. I love your comment. So a resistor is something that can slow down the flow of electricity. So go back in time with me to Tuesday's camp. Who can remember day two of camp? Let me know in the chat if you thought day two felt like we were going very fast. If you think we were going very fast, type a yes, type a Y. Yeah, you'll even notice my microphone thought that I was going too fast because it would cut in and cut out. What would have happened? Yes, Kenji, you are right there thinking the same thing as me. We needed to put a resistor on Dr. Batteries, not included, myself, and Dr. Short Circuit. We needed something to slow us down. So that is what we are going to talk about today. And we are going to illustrate that with our project that we build. So what I would like to know from you guys is who's ready to build a circuit? Me, I love Yay. it. So many are ready. So I'm going to turn the time off over to Dr. Short Circuit to lead our build today. Okay, scientists, today we are going to be building project number four, which is on Braille page, no, just on print page six or Braille page 11 of your instruction books. Now, you're, you will have to listen carefully because we're building project four, but we're changing it a bit, okay? So you'll have, so we're not using the exact directions that are in the book, but uh, don't worry, I will go, I will, I will resist myself and go very slowly and make sure that you all know when I'm changing things, okay? And jury, to answer your question, we are building number four, project number four, but we are making modifications. So you are going to want to stick right with us for the build. Just one, actually just, just one modification we're making and I will make sure that you know what that is. Okay. Are we ready? All right. And I think we could turn cameras on now. For those that have submitted their um, release forms. All right, I see a couple yeses. 
I see an R. I think we have students that are ready. Scientists, let's build. Okay, so first we're gonna get out our parts. For this build, we are, and the name of this project is a sound activated switch. So we are gonna need the battery. The S1 switch. Mm. All right. And after you get your battery and your S1 switch out, let me know in the chat. And I remember the S1 switch is the slide switch. While they are pulling those out, if you would like to raise your digital hands, you can have your cameras on and your instructors can see you working. I will move you over. Remember, I have to have your permission to do so. All right, I think Dr. Short Circuit, we can move on. We have our battery pack and our S1 switch. Now we're going to get the whistle chip. And the whistle chip, I don't think we've used this before. It is a bright yellow piece and it's flat with a hole in the center. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to need our- Nice, Maya. I see it. Well done. Then we're going to need our music IC chip, our U1. It's the blue one with the box on it. All right, so when you have your battery pack, your slide switch, S1 switch, your whistle chip, and your U1 music circuit, go ahead and let me know. If your camera's on, you can give me a thumbs up in your camera. I love it. If you don't have your camera on, you can give me an R in the chat. No. Okay. Let me know when we're ready. I think we're ready. Now here's where we're going to skip a part. We are not, if you're following along with your instructions, it says we need the resistor. We are not going to use the resistor just yet. So the next part I want you to get out is the speaker. Once you have your speaker, let me know. Oh, I can see it on Jury's screen. I love it. I can see a couple of R's in the chat. I think Nadia has it too. Okay, next, we're gonna need three two snaps. And here is the other change we're making. The instructions you have say one, three snap, but I want you to get out two, three snaps. Okay. 
Mm -hmm. All right. And when you have all of those snap wires out, the three, two snap wires and the two, three snap wires, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, just like I see from Maya or an R or ready or got it in the chat. We are okay. Sorry, I thought I saw a hand raise there for a minute, but we didn't. All right, I think we're ready to get some more pieces. Our last two pieces are a five snap and the six snap. Let us know. I All love it. Pieces. I am seeing a thumbs up in the chat. I am seeing a five snap and a six snap. Sorry, the thumbs up I saw was Maya in the camera. <laughs> I see some R's. It looks like Megan is ready and Elise is ready. Shreya is giving me a thumbs up. And I think it might be a great idea before we build to just verify that we have all of the pieces. So what if we go down that list one more time? Okay, we need a battery. This S1 switch, which is our slide switch. Or our maintained switch. We need our whistle chip, which is the flat yellow piece. We need the U1 music IC. We need the speaker. We need three one, three, two snaps, two, three snaps, and a five snap, and a six snap. Awesome. All right, let me know if you are ready to build. Okay. Yes. I'm seeing a thumbs up. I've got a couple of readies in the chat. Now they're starting to flood in. Awesome. All right, let's build. Okay. So the first thing we're going do step one is place our six snap wire from A1 to A6. So A is our first row across the top of our breadboard. And we are going to put, I'm going to start at A1 and take it all the way to A6. Let us know when you have that in. Nice, Maya has it. Jury is showing me in the camera. Mia and Shreya have it. Annalise is ready. Daniel and I believe looking at Nadia's body language that Nadia is ready as well. <laughs> okay, next step, step two. We're gonna place the five snap from E1 to E5. So we're going to count. Oh, she just down. cut out, A, so I'm not sure what B, she said. C, Can you repeat you hear me the now? placement again? I can hear you now. Can you repeat that placement okay. space again? Yes. We're going to place the five snap from E1 to E5. 
So we're going to count down A, B, C, D, E. It's going to go in row E from one to five. I like it. I'm seeing two fantastic looking breadboards in the camera. I think we have a few R's in the chat that says that we're ready. Nice. And again, this one feels like we're building from top to bottom. I wonder when we're going to start building from left to right. Nice work, you guys. Our next piece is the U1 music I see, the music chip. And it's going to go from C1 to 3 1. I mean, C1 to C3 with the three snaps at the top. So we're going to count one, no, A, B, C. And make sure that when you place it, you have the three snaps at the top in row C. So I notice on my board that that puts that music chip directly above my five snap. Yes. That is correct, Dr. Batteries. Nice. I'm seeing a couple really great looking breadboards in that. Uh, Jerry, hold yours up again real quick. I'm going to make you bigger. Jerry, do you end up having, so when we're done, we will have our six snap on row A. I will have nothing on row B. So I'm going to have a big blind gap there. Then I'm going to have my music circuit and it takes up row C and row D. And then I have my five snap on row E. So that's another thing you can do to kind of troubleshoot, maybe problem solve and double check your placement as we go. And everything starts in column A, I mean, column one. Correct. Yeah, I think that looks great, Jury. I saw that gap between the six snap and the music circuit. All right, are we ready to go? I'm getting a Next. big grin from Maya. I think we're ready to go. Next, we're gonna place the speaker from B5 to D5. So we're going to count, we're going to start up in the upper left hand corner and we're going to count down A, B, and then over to five. One, two, three, four, five. And it is going to snap in. And remember, it doesn't matter whether your speaker is facing to the right or to the left. So our speaker is going from B, as in boy, five, to D, as in dog, five. And maybe I wasn't, I was daydreaming or something, but I had a hard time figuring that one out. So that means our speaker is oriented vertically. Good when job, Dr. Batteries. Nice. Annalise says she is ready. Maya says she's ready. Next, we're going to place the battery from C6 to E6. So we're going to count down A, B, C, one, two, three, four, five, hopping over the speaker 
to six. So it's going to go towards the right on the right of the speaker. And the bottom of the battery is going to line up with the five stamp. Nice. Maya is already there, has her battery pack positioned. I think I thought I saw a thumbs up from Jury. Jury is adjusting. I think Jury looks set too, from what I can see. Very nice work, you guys. If you are ready, hey, first I need to ask. Dr. Short Circuit, does this complete layer one? Yes, this completes layer one. Awesome. So if you are ready to move on to layer two, type an R or a two in the chat. I see Maya's thumbs up. All right, I think we're set. We say, they say they are ready to go. Okay, our next, our second layer. We're gonna start by placing the WC whistle chip from A1 to C1. So it is going, going to connect your Six snap to the music circuit all the way on to the left. Maya, I think that looks good. Oh, very good. I can see juries. I think I only see a couple of R's in the chat. So I'm just going to review real quick. We took our whistle chip and we placed it from A1 to C1. So that means it's going vertically on the very top left hand side of my breadboard. It's connecting the six snap wire to the very top left snap of my U1 music circuit. That is correct, Dr. Batteries. I think we're ready to move to the next piece. Okay, we are going to place a three snap from A2 to C2. So that's directly next to the whistle chip. It's going from the sixth snap to the middle of our music circuit. So the middle snap on the top of our music circuit. And directly to the right of the whistle chip. Nice. I'm seeing one thumbs up. Shreya has three thumbs up. That's amazing. I'm seeing already. I see Maya's thumbs up. I see Jury's breadboard. Looks fantastic. Nice. Megan is ready. Daniel is ready. And so is Annalise. I think we're ready for the next piece. Next. We're going to place a two snap from D1 to E1. This connects the bottom left snap of our music circuit to the five snap. Maya, can you hold it just a little bit closer to your camera? Because it's blurring just a little bit. 
I think, oh yeah, that's better. Yep, that looks great. Thank you. So our, that instruction right there it, that we just completed was we placed a two snap to connect D1 to E1. So that's gonna be on the far left side of our breadboard. It's going to be connecting the bottom left-hand snap of our U1 music circuit to the very left snap of our five snap wire. All right, so how are we doing? Wonderful. I think, are we ready to move on? Megan says yes. Shreya says yes. Shreya has grown some more thumbs. <laughs> now there are five thumbs. And Elise says yes. And so does Daniel. And so does Marshall. Yay. I think we're ready for our next piece. Okay. This next step is where it's different from what's in your book. Your book says to place a resistor. But remember, instead of using a resistor, we're going to use an, a three snap. So we are going to place a three snap from D3 to D5. That is connecting the bottom left corner, the right corner of the music chip of music circuit to our speaker. A three snap from D3 to D5. Not the resistor. Oh, uh, let's see, Maya, I think you you need to take that three snap off that you just put on. You have it going vertically, but we need it to be going horizontally. So move it so it, it's positioned from the bottom right snap on the music circuit and connect it to the speaker. Yes, that looks great. Thank you, Maya. I love it. So that step, we installed the, th the three snap wire from D3 to D5. Let me know if you have that installed and you're ready for our next piece. That was a very important step because that was the one that was different from the project in the book. And the reason why we are doing that is we want you guys to see what it sounds like without a resistor. And then we'll put a resistor in so you can really see and hear what a resistor can do. All right. I think I can see Jury's looks good. I checked Maya's and I have a few in this. Nice. I have four readies in this in the chat. I think we're ready for our next piece. Okay, next we are going to place a two snap from B, no, from A5 to B5, which will connect our six snap to our speaker. So that was a two snap wire from A5 to B5, connecting our six snap wire to our speaker. Maya looks great. Mm. 
loving it. I think Nadia's probably ready. Uh, Jury, I don't see your connection. So we want to take a two snap wire and it's going to connect A5 to B5. So it's going to be going vertically from our six snap wire down to our speaker. Perfect. That looks beautiful, Jury. I think we're ready. Okay. Our next step is we're going to place our S1 switch from A6 to C6. So that's going to go all the way on the end of our six, on the right end of our six snap. And it's going to connect our six snap to our battery. Oh, Maya, that looks great. And remember, make sure the switch is in the off uh -huh. position. Love it. And also remember that our S1 switch is a maintained switch. So when we turn it to the on position, it closes that circuit and it stays closed until we turn the switch off. Even if I take my finger away from it. All right, I've seen a couple. I think Nadia might be ready. I know Maya is ready. Jury seems to be ready. I think Annalise is ready and Megan. Daniel and Shreya. I'm Baron, very cool. I think we have a lot of people ready. I think we could move on to our last piece. Our last piece goes from, is a two snap that'll go from E5 to E6, connecting our five snap to our battery. So that last step, we took a two snap wire we placed it at E5 to E6. That connects the very right hand snap of our five snap to the bottom snap of our battery pack. Maya, I love it. It looks great. Jury, it looks fantastic from what I can see. Nadia has that look of, I have completed the build. I can awesome. see it. When you are all ready, let us know in the chat. And then the good thing about it is we shouldn't have any pieces left. Nice. I'm seeing a couple chiming in. I think Shreya's ready, Megan's ready, Marshall's ready, Baron's ready. I know Maya is and Jury is. And I think Nadia is too. And there's Annalise. All right, Dr. Short Circuit. Now what do we do with this amazing circuit that we have built? So oh, now I want you to listen. So when we turn it on, we are turning the switch on. It completes the circuit, and we should hear some music. So we're going to turn our switch on. Oh, I hear some. What? Mine sounds kind of tired again. I'm wondering if that's a sign that maybe my batteries don't have as much charge in them. 
What do you guys Maybe. think? Awesome. Maya's must have worked because as all of a sudden she got a big grin on her face. And I think that grin is her telltale sign that like, yeah, I got this. It worked. Now let me show you something. After the song plays once without turning on and off the switch, you can get it to play again by tapping the whistle tip. You can get it to play again by tapping the whistle chip. <laughs> I tap nice. the before I finish saying it. <laughs> and I'm trying to think, Dr. Short Circuit, so the whistle chip would act as somewhat of a switch, but I can't yeah. tell if that would be a momentary switch or a main tap switch. What do you guys think? I don't know. What do my scientists think? Do we think the whistle chip is a momentary switch or a maintained switch? Or maybe. Because I have to have my maintained switch on to make it go to, for the circuit to be complete. But when the music stops, if I tap the whistle chip, Megan says a momentary. I tap it and it continues, but I don't have to leave my finger on it. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe it's some kind of hybrid switch. A momentained switch. I've just created a new word. It's momentained. <laughs> Awesome. I want you guys to know, I want to hear from all of you in the chat, how many of you were able to touch the whistle chip and get it to play again? Maya says yes. Baron got it. I love it. just seeing a couple. So if it doesn't work, and sometimes I had a tricky part with my whistle chip, it was kind of sensitive. So I had to keep trying to get it to go. Kenji got it. I love it. What a fun switch. So let me know. I don't know. Could this fit into birthday celebrations at your house? Could you make this switch? or this project to wish happy birthday to someone in your family on their special day? I think we could. Now I'm really sad that all of the birthdays at my, my house are finished for the year. Shoot. My cousin's birthday is today and I took a video of it and sent it to her. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. All right, so did you guys notice the volume of um, did you guys notice the volume of our speaker? Do you guys think it was kind of loud or do you think it was pretty soft? I've got, Annalise says it was loud. Kenji also says it was loud. I thought it was kind of loud. Yes, it was very loud. So that means we got a lot of power going through that circuit. I wonder if there's something we could do to change that. What do you think, Dr. Short Circuit? What could we do? Oh, I think we need a resistor. All right, a resistor. So do we need to get another part out of our box? Yes, everyone, if everyone gets out their resistor. Our resistor is R1. It's a bright yellow with a red zigzag on it. And it has a cool, like I can feel the two snaps on the side, but in the middle, I can feel something else. 
like a couple of wires and like a little bumpy thing. Yes. All right, so when you, oh, and Maya, that actually looks to me like that is RP. It looks like you have the photo, sen photo sensor. Photo resistor. Photo resistor, thank you. I don't want the photo resistor. We just need the regular resistor. So I don't know if you can see my screen. I'll put my lovely purple cutting mat. So that should be some pretty good contrast right there. What do we got? Yes, there it is. We're twinners holding our resistors up in the camera. All right, everybody got it. So here's what I want you to do. We are going to find the three step that is connecting our U1 music chip to our speaker. And when you find it, we're going to take it off. And that snap wire goes from D3 to D5, if that helps. And we want it to go away. Bye, snap wire. You've served us well. All right. Jury, yours is still connected from what I can see. We're going to remove that three snap. There you go. Boom. So quick. Oh, and Maya has moved ahead already to the next step and said, hmm, well, if I took the three snap wire off, if I need to complete my circuit, huh, I think this is probably where the resistor is going to go. Is that what you were thinking, yes. Maya? So we're So we are going we to are put going that re to... Sorry, Mary Kate. No, that's okay. We're going to put the resistor from D3 to D5 where we took off that snap circuit. I mean, where we took off that snap wire. So it's going to connect our music circuit to our speaker. All right. And when you have your resistor on, we're going to say, viva la resistance, right? We pretend yes. we're from France. Best deal day was today, so we're right on the mark. <laughs> I love it. So when you're ready, actually, you don't have to say viva la resistance, unless you really want to. You can let me know in the chat or give me that thumbs up in your screen. Maya, there's that thumb. I love it. And then while we're waiting, I'm going to have you make a prediction. Mm. While we're waiting think? for all those R's to flood in the chat, what are we going to predict? What do you think is going to happen? What, what is going to be different when we turn on our switch? Mm. What will be different about our circuit? Uh, I don't know. Is my circuit going to, <gasps> maybe instead of the speaker playing, it's going to produce donuts. Ooh. Oh, sure. I could use it. Shreya disagrees with me though. Shreya says that the music will oh. slow down. Kenji says volume, but I'm not really quite sure what Kenji's prediction about volume is. Is it going to fill more space? Is it going to get louder? Is it going to get louder? Or is it get softer? Hmm. It will be softer, he says. All right, Jerry, I still am looking at your circuit and your resistor wasn't placed. Looks like you're getting in your box. You're finding that R1 resistor. 
and you're gonna get it connected. Awesome. Kenji says, not soft like a pillow. Correct. This is not gonna make me wanna cuddle up with my circuit and take a nap. Correct. I think he means softer as in quieter. All right. I don't know, Nadia had a grin on her face. Maybe she's hoping it'll be a pillow. We can snuggle up with our snap circuit and take a nap, I think. <laughs> I love it. All right, we better turn this on and see. Okay, turn on your switches. Did you hear a difference? I heard a huge difference in mine. Mine doesn't sound tired anymore. That is weird. Ooh. <laughs> uh, but it did. I, I, I did notice I another difference. I think Dr. Batteries needs new batteries. <laughs> I think probably so. All right, what was the difference that you noticed? Type it in the chat. I'm gonna type mine. Kenji noticed a quieter sound. I typed that mine was quieter and it didn't sound tired. I think Dr. Short Circuits sounds quite a bit quieter. I think. So hopefully all of you guys noticed the same thing with yours too. Oh, Baron said it was slower and quieter. Annalise said hers was soft, which I'm assuming Annalise is soft as in not as loud and not soft, cozy pillow to cuddle up with my circuit. I love it. So now that we've all decided that it is quieter or softer, why do we think that is? Hmm. Maya is talking. Maya, if you want to unmute, you can. There you go. Can you hear me? Yes. Um, I think that it was softer because the resistor was um, resisting it and making it um, sound softer. Yeah, I absolutely think that you're right. I think that resistor slowed down that flow a little bit of that energy and that made it so there's not as much energy going through our speaker and it made our speaker quieter. And I also think that explains why without a resistor, mine sounded tired, right? Because I don't think there was quite enough energy in my batteries to make it sound right without a resistor. But when the resistor slowed the flow down, there was just enough oomph and energy in my batteries to make it so it sounded not tired. Shreya, I see that your hand is raised. Would you like to talk? Yes, ma'am. So what I think it is like when the resistor came, I gave like the superpower to make it um, louder. But when the three snap bar was there, it was like, oh, I'm just going to volume down it. Oh, so you thought that it was louder with this three snap or you thought it was louder with the resistor? The res resistor. Oh, it was louder on yours Ooh. with the resistor. 
That's oh no, I, I meant um the three snap wire, sorry. The three snap, yep, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. It was kind of like when we just put the three snap wire on, it was kind of like Dr. Short Circuit and I were on Tuesday. We were super excited. We had way too much energy and we started talking really, really fast. Well, our speaker, instead of talking faster, it talks louder. But when we put that resistor on to slow down that energy, mellow things out a bit, then it gets quieter. I love it. You guys did such a fantastic job with our modified build today. So I just want to take a moment because sadly, tomorrow is our last day of STEM camp, but we do have one more day. And uh, tomorrow we are going to be talking about what are good conductors of electricity. And we are going to be doing some experiments. So tomorrow we need you to bring those paper clips that you found for today. Cause sadly we didn't have time to get to the paperclip experiment today, but we will get to it tomorrow. So, you uh, can, go ahead. Okay. So some of the things you will need for tomorrow, we're gonna do some pretty cool stuff. You're gonna need your paper clips. You're gonna need a cup of water. You're gonna need some salt. And don't put the salt in the water quite yet because we'll be doing that tomorrow. And then you can also bring a few other things that you want to check, that you want to test to see if electricity will go through them. I have some aluminum foil. I have a metal spoon. And I have a Lego. And I also have scissors, but you can get just whatever items around your house that you want to test to see if electricity can flow through them. Awesome. And then one yes. final thing we need to jump into, one of our scientists made a special build that they would like to share with us. Ooh. So can we spotlight that scientist, Leanne? I like it. Kenji. Oh, okay. Uh, so wait, can you can you hear me? Yes. Okay, hold one sec. And hold on. Just so I feel okay. So to do with Tuesday's topic about open and closed circuits, um, I did project, I think it was like 97 or something. Point is, Ooh. yeah. So so right here is the circuit. So what it's supposed to do is it's supposed to play space war sounds. Um, hold on. It sounds a little pathetic. I hope you guys can hear it. Can you hear it? Yeah. Yes. All right. And then that's just one way to turn it on. You see these, you see how these two wires are kind of just like hanging off the sides? Mm-hmm. For some reason, I don't have to flip the switch. If I just connect the wires, if I just connect the wires together, and I promise I'm doing it. Can't you hear? I connected the wires together, just like this. And that closed the circuit. Yep, open and closed circuits. And then if I flip the switch, it doesn't sound as pathetic anymore. Hold on. But I have to turn it on first and then connect the wires. So, so yep. That is pretty cool. That this, is supposed, this is supposed to be a water alarm so that when I stick the two wires in water, it would work. And of course it did because wire because water conducts electricity just as well as connecting the wires together, but it didn't work as well. So I prefer to do it this way. So just thought I'd show you. That's awesome. That is awesome. And you know what? We're actually going to be building a water alarm tomorrow. 
Well, that is very really? cool. We are at our limit, guys. So I am going to pull you to a close. Say Hi. thank you all for joining us. And thank you, closed captions, for those class captions. Thanks, guys. Happy Thanks. building. Watch for your experience.